Hello everyone, and today we're gonna see how I made this scene in Unity, the Stranger Things scene. So, where? Well, you can see here the scene, well, maybe I'll play it just so you see thing correctly. So yeah, this is the scene I made, uh, with some lightnings and shadow monster in the background, slightly visible. And yeah, here it's, well, once again, very simple. Just a few meshes here, like just a few cylinders for that. There's nothing I'm built. Uh, the road is just one big quad um, with a panning texture on it to add some well, eerie feeling to it. And then we have the skybox here. The skybox is just something I painted and well composed with pictures and stuff. Um, and then we have all the particles. And particles are just that. So we have the camera here, just looking that way. And we, I arranged all the particles so that in the game it will look like it's far in the distance but actually it's just above the uh, panels and well in the end it looks good but that's another way of cheating making it look like your stuff is far far in the distance but it's not and then let's just see how i made the particles here up here are in the game a bit okay here so here I just have some clouds, the red clouds here, uh, then I have, well, all the clouds, <laughs> and I have like that a lot of layers of clouds, so I arrange them to get, to have like, I have, how to explain that, a layer of dark clouds here, let's say this one, and then I have a layer of bright uh, clouds. This one, which gives a feeling like there is a sun behind that, or uh, which one here do I have? Those ones maybe? Yeah, those ones. This is just a bunch of particles really, uh, that move a bit to the right, and that's about it. <laughs> Why can't we see the, the outline? Mm, well, I just activate the waveframe. So yeah, once again, don't do that in your games. <laughs> For this, you can definitely just have a plane, or maybe two or three planes with spanning textures on them. But I just wanted to do that with particles to get more randomness in there, but that's it. Don't do that in your games. <laughs> and so yeah, it's really just a bunch of layers, a bit like you would do a composition in Photoshop. That's always the way I think about my scenes, is that I have a layer, then I add something on top of it, then another thing, and once you mix everything together, it looks like something completely different. And so yeah, and so yeah, for the shadow monster itself, once again, it's just really just a few planes. If I can isolate them, maybe here. Yeah, yeah. that's about it for the shadow monster. I have two sandpapers there, so this one's too. And yeah, that's it. It's just a bunch of uh, billboards with these textures on them. Uh, and that's it, really. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Uh, clouds here. Oh yeah, the, the lightning strikes. Uh, which one's that? Yeah. Well, once again, this is the same as in the Mount Doom video. It's just a bunch of particles with one texture and randomly appearing. Uh, well, not so randomly. They have a precise uh, duration and emissive interval. And it's exactly the same for the clouds. The clouds, where are they? Uh, blue, right, I think? Uh, blue. Those ones. Yes. Uh, they should also have uh, no, I don't think it's those ones. I don't remember which ones they are. They are. But wait, one of my clouds <laughs> has the same interval. And, well, since the clouds and the lightning strikes have the same intervals, it looks like the lightning strikes are illuminating the clouds, but it's really not anything special. And then you also have this small uh, Hawkins thing here. Ah, 
can select it. Stop this and then okay. Uh, once again, this is just a particle, uh, just with a addition here. Uh, and yeah, just a random rotation to make it look like it's a bit uh, hectic. But yeah, that's 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 all, <laughs> really. Uh, then uh, I just have some quads here and there uh, to add some shadows, like this. The shadow for this. I'm not even sure if we can see it. Yeah, we can see it there. Uh, here, the shadow there. It's just a quad with a shadow texture on it. Uh, yeah, that's well, that's it. <laughs> I uh, hope you learned something, and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'll keep making those breakdowns because apparently people like it, and apparently it's helpful, so yeah. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. Bye bye!